Hey everybody, welcome to our video number 9 on the crafting leveling series. This one will be extending the cooking leveling guide from 50 all the way to 150. So let's go! Our guide will be divided in two phases. Phase 1 will be from 50 to 100 and phase 2 will be from 100 to 150. For phase 1, we'll be using the light meal. And as the one in our previous guide, it can also be made by using many different resources as primary, secondary and now tertiary ingredients. The only restriction we have is for the primary ingredient. That needs to be a tier 3. And the one I like to use is the blueberry. Mostly because it can be found in high quantities between Everfall and Windsward. If you do not like to harvest blueberries, some popular alternatives are cabbage and potatoes. As secondary ingredient, you can use basically anything. And as we learned in the previous guide, the one I prefer to use by far is honey, since that can be found in huge quantities near Cutlass Keys. And as a third ingredient, you have all the same options as the secondary. The only restriction is that it cannot be the same ones you already picked for primary and secondary. So here I tend to use anything that is easy to gather, things like nuts, carrots or squash. Now, to craft the rations, we can use either a tier 3 cooking station or a tier 3 camp. And it does not need to be your camp, it can be anyone's camp, it just needs to be tier 3. So, considering you are level 50, in order to reach level 100, you will need to accumulate another 24,820 experience. And since each light meal gives you 90 XP, we will need to craft 276 of them. And for that, you will need 276 of any combination of blueberries, cabbage, potatoes or any other tier 3, 276 honey and 276 of anything else like nuts, carrots, etc. With all that in hand, you just go to a tier 3 cooking station or camp, craft the 276 meals and you should reach level 100. Now, the new item that unlocks at level 100 is the satisfying meal. It is almost as easy to make, but it rewards you with 300 experience instead of 90, so it's a huge jump in experience per resource. If we look at its recipe, you will see that now for primary you need to use a tier 4 ingredient. But luckily for us, the broccoli is quite easy to find in farms near Cutlass Keys and Everfall. So that is what I recommend for you to use. Now for second, third and fourth ingredients, you again can use anything as long as it's not already being used in any of the other slots. I usually go with honey, nuts and blueberries, but literally anything you have around can be used, like carrots, squash, whatever you have. So, to prepare our meals, you will need either a tier 4 cooking station or camp. And to reach level 150, you need to accumulate another… yeah, that gigantic number. And since each satisfying meal gives you 300 experience, we will need to craft 395 of them. And for that we will need 395 broccoli, 395 honey, 395 anything 1 and 395 anything 2. The suggestions here is to use like nuts, carrots, blueberries, squash, whatever you have as long as they are two different things. And again, once you have all the required ingredients, you just go to the tier 4 cooking station or camp and craft the 395 satisfying meals. And there you go, level 150 cooking. As always, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And also, you can check our other guides like this one on Arcana, alright? Take care and see you all on the next one. Take it easy.